Hi, this is Bobby Lombardi coming to you live from the AES show floor. I'm here with Chris from Gobbler. Hello, Bobby. <laughs> Chris, I think this is a great opportunity to tell everybody here watching from AES, what's Gobbler about? So uh, Gobbler's a cloud solution designed for people that record audio, and we look at handling issues of organization, collaboration, and backup. Can you give me an example of who's using Gobbler and maybe how it ties into DAWs and the Pro Tools workflow? Sure. I mean, the product is designed for anyone to use, whether you're a professional audio creator or a student learning how. Uh, but, you know, so for example, guys like John Legend um, use the product because he does a lot of traveling and, you know, recording on the road. And so we've designed something that, uh, you know, he can just take out with him and when he needs to, you know, send a file to his mastering engineer, it's really easy to do that. And, you know, he knows he has file security because, you know, those files are constantly being backed up into the cloud. Uh, you know, Dave Pensato is a great user, Stephen Slate, you know, so we've, we've got a nice group of people that are using the product and they've been super helpful in, in helping us to design and improve what we worked on. So it sounds like great product for use for sending files to each other, Pro Tools session files, for example, and uh, maybe is there versioning as well? Yeah, so well, one of the neat things about Gobbler is once you set it for backup, it's really more like versioning, and every time the pro every time your, your, product, your project actually changes, we snapshot that version. When you if you want to roll back to a previous version, you can actually just click a date and time, and it'll recreate the project exactly as it was from that exact moment. So you never have to worry about saving different versions of your sessions. Can multiple users use the same session files, or is this specific to just one user? So the way Gobbler's set up is that you know you sort of work on what you're doing, then you send it to the person that you're working with. But what's neat about Gobbler is as you're sending files back and forth, the system knows what's already in the cloud. So you don't actually resend files that have already been sent through the system. So as you start to collaborate back and forth with people, the speed at which you can send files can be 10 to 20 times faster because you're not actually sending repeat files back and forth. I see. Thanks for that. Um, you know, and I, I think uh, this is a great time to also announce uh, uh, Avid and Gobbler are doing some work together to better integrate Pro Tools and Gobbler workflows. Do you want to say anything about that? Yeah, so uh, today we're announcing uh, that I think in the next build of, of Pro Tools, Gobbler will actually be integrated into the Pro Tools application, so we'll keep the workflow super seamless, and you'll never actually leave Pro Tools uh, when you want to use Gobbler, so it'll make you know, just using the cloud even that much easier. So. If you're interested in Gobbler, I do recommend go to gobbler.com. I believe you can sign up for a free account. Yeah, so you can get a five gig account just to try it out and uh, see what you think. And if you love it, there's more space there for you to play with. <laughs> oh, that's great, Chris. Hey, thank, thank you so much and yeah, enjoy the show. You.